Uh, the winner of the 2017 Telstra Tasmanian Business of the Year is Big Heart. <laughs>
And he's now at Wesley College in Melbourne and, and academically doing extremely well. And he's a very, very interesting um, young man. And also, unfortunately, pro probably has a career as an actor. We're trying to discourage that. <laughs> All of those anecdotes have to be backed in, in facts. And for us, the facts begin with um, what backs up a, an issue. So we live on one of the most beautiful harbours in the world here. It's visited by ships daily. On the oceans tonight, bringing 90% of everything that we buy and probably our clothes and things on the tables, the, some of the food that we've, we, we consume, our cars, etc. 90% of everything we buy is, comes to us by ships. 650,000 men and women work as slaves or indentured labour on the sea to deliver our white goods to us. We are a proud port. That's an invisible story not known by us. What if we demanded fair shipping at Harvey Norman? It's just a story, and stories are the things that we need to tell so that we can bring about change. One other story. We should be banned by South Africa for playing cricket in their country. 51% of the children we lock up in this country are indigenous, 2% of the population. It's an undeniable story. It's not their problem, it's ours. These are powerful narratives and they're exciting for us because invisible stories are what people want to hear. The Namajira story about them not owning their copyright got us to the most bizarre place as an arts company, when we took the show to London, we were invited there, we got it over there, we had no money, we scraped in, we put it on at South Bank, we were, got to the, the day before opening night and we got a request from Buckingham Palace to come, to come and meet the King and Queen of England uh, with no black tie, no suits, no nothing. So we, we, the, the company was Trevor Jamison, who you might have seen in Nathan Maynard's show in 10 Days in the Island, very talented indigenous actor, Pigeon Jarrah man, another actor, Derek Lynch from Alice Springs. Um, and we were there with a, with a tiny little lady and quite a tall man. And the tall man, Captain um, Prince Philip, had a bleeding ear. <laughs> and he was standing next to me and I was having trouble concentrating because he'd cut his ears shaving. <laughs> and there was just a touch of, <laughs> of, of a drip of blood. It was, and I didn't know if I should talk to somebody. The corgis were looking around the room with their nose in the air. It was, it was I know I'm going on. And, and they brought out of their private collection some pictures that were Albert Namajira's to show to his grandchildren, Lenny and, and Kevin Namajira, who were there with, with Trevor and Derek and, and myself. And the Queen was, was showing, showing them the pictures and chatting away. And, and Prince Philip said, so what, what do, do, do you do? What's this show about? And, and uh, to Trevor, and, he's, and he was explaining the show, and, 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 he, said, and I, he asked me, so what do you play, Trevor? And, and Trevor's right there, but he's asking me. And, and I said, well, he plays Rex Batterby, the, the white painter, and, and, and Albert Namajira. And he said, Batterby? But Batterby's a white man. He can't possibly, in, in that way that you're expecting a terrible thing that's going to get on the media. And I said, well, he's a very, very talented actor. And he said, well, he'd want to be because the director is a ruddy idiot. And I was the director. Thank you. 